I wonder if you could put vodka in this. That's giving me an idea. To the Paul Dalton Details channel. Of course, I'm not going to put vodka in it. What a total waste. I'm going to put beer in it. Much better. These, of course, are the syringes. You can get these on eBay. I'll put a link underneath the channel. You're thinking, why has he got a big syringe in his hand? What's he, what's he doing? Where's he taking the channel now? Is it going to go in full X-rated version? No. These are great for putting in product bottles and extracting them and getting the exact measurements. Hence the tube. Get the one with the tube. Don't just get the one with the needle. That's just dangerous. Right, this week we are finally getting around to doing some testing for Gary's Therapy. There's a prototype floating around the interweb on uh, YouTube. It's this, the ceramic spray. Now, um, obsessive car detailer, find me words out, Paul, put your teeth in. Obsessive car detailer, Martin has done some videos on this, and also Specky McSporran, they're right into it so far. I've not done a thing, so I'm new to this. This is different to the one that they've been given. We've all been given different samples. No, not that sort of sample. Well, it does look a bit suspicious, Maz. Uh, not what you've been drinking. Right, This. so this is this week's test. Now, I don't know what it's gonna behave like. I don't know the water behavior. I don't know what it's gonna do. This is just showing the prep work on the Metro. Finally got the Metro back on the channel. We're gonna primarily test this on the bonnet, although I will probably get it on the rest of the car. We'll see how we go. And we're just going to find out what it's all about. So, go and grab yourself a bag of um, low-fat crisps. Don't get twiglets. You've got the brown bits in your teeth. And nobody likes looking at that, do they? And roll the video. So here we go then. While she's watching Catch Up TV next year, you can watch me. Rinse the wheels and the arches down first. And then it's in with around about 30 ml of Cleanse Decon Shampoo from Garage Therapy in the 1 litre Trigger Spray. Give those wheels a good scrub, and then the discs with a soft Vicam brush. If you wonder what that foam is in the bucket, that's the wheel shampoo. About 25 mil in that bucket, that's all you need. Don't go in too closely with the uh, <laughs> power washer, you'll blast the arches out. These are renowned for rusting these cars, hence there's not many left on the road. And the fact they look like a lunchbox. But they seem to be making a comeback. It's going to be hugely popular uh, metros. My wife loves this car. She did have a C plate one, a 1986 one. She managed to stick that in a hedge. Don't do the same to this, will you, dear? So, once you've done all the rims, while we've got the decon shampoo in the bottle, we're going to work our way around the lower parts of the car and also we're going to put it on the bits we want to really get into, like decontaminate. So you can use a citrus pre-wash on this part of the car. I'm choosing to use the Decon Shampoo. I'm going to work my way around the car, around the horrible bits. Everyone knows you have a dirty rear. So work your way around. And all the time while you're doing it, it's dwelling. It's starting to break down the dirt as you're working your way around the car. Particularly a, not particularly a warm day today. That's unusual for Great Britain. So it's nicely dwelling. Get your syringe out. Slurp up around about 65 mil now. 65 mil. What are you doing with that, Paul? I'll show you. Whacking it in the snow foam, Lance. That's what I'm doing. So now go over the top of what you've just done. And that will allow the stuff underneath to dwell a little bit longer. This will just blank it over the top.
So if anyone's interested, that is the new snow foam uh, bottle, Lance, from uh, Detailed Online. Gary's therapy won't mind me telling you any of that. All coming up on the channel. Give us around 10 minutes of dwell time. And rinse down. This, of course, will take off any LSP that's been left on the car, any spray waxes, um, anything that I've had on there. Do you know what? It's been such a long time, I can't remember. Not been on the channel for a while, this car. So selfish, my wife keeps using it. How dare she? What's wrong with a woman? So that, flat. Nothing on it. No beads, no sheets, nothing. It's time for a two bucket wash with the one shampoo. Now, I could have used Decon shampoo for this, but do you know what? I chose their shampoo. We've done that stage already. No real need. Oh no, not over the badge. Oh, he's done it again, straight across the back. Look at that glossy shot. Oh. Rinse down. So once I did all this, I dried the car off, moved around to the front again, and then machined the bonnet with some final finish polish from Menzerna. Not an aggressive polish, this. Just enough to get a nice flat surface, so there's nothing in the paint. It's been polished before this car, machined. You can check that video out. There's an alcohol wipe down IPA solution there. Around about 40% in there. Give this time to flash off. Really important this. Brand new applicator pads. So the ones we're going to be using. Pre-spray it. Getting nice and close. Quite breezy today. Got that blowing everywhere there, going in your eyes. Smells nice as well, this stuff. So I load it up, that is a damp applicator. In my case, I made it too damp. So up and down, left and right, cross hatch it, any which way but loose. Work it in as much as possible. What I did find, I over applied water. I didn't wring it out enough. Now that's great for spreading the product over the car, but it can make it a tad streaky. Make note of that. More about that at the end of the video. Now this isn't a spray on wipe off product. You need to let this cure for a little while, a couple of minutes. Don't go to the road, don't go shopping, don't start cutting the lawn and forget about it. You'll regret that. If you leave this on too long it can be a bit of a bugger to buff off. I thought I'd be a little bit greedy, I did the other wing. Mind you, this car is rather small. I think I've got bigger models in the loft, to be fair. And they're 1 to 43. Right, so you've let this cure up. It's time to buff it off. Nice deep pile for this one deep pile microfiber if you've got any lying around and then you can finish it off with a shorter pile one so have a couple of cloths with you and already you can see the lovely gloss levels didn't machine in the wings just the bonnet yes this car's been prepped before you can check that video out at your leisure it's been machined before if you're new to the channel you haven't seen that video I'll chuck it in there somewhere. That's what we're left with after the secondary cloth. 
It's got gloss. So I thought I'd buff the front wing and then see what it's like on the door which hasn't been treated and, and see what it feels like and it is a little bit grabby on the bit that hasn't been done. You can certainly feel the difference. So what's it like for sheeting? Other butchers are this lot. Now can uh, you can of course do two coats if you really want to. This is a single coat. You can layer this up. Disappears quick, doesn't it? That's what we want. Yeah, all right. Don't go over the top. That's enough. Oh, blimey. Turn that hose off. Right. What's it like getting it off the car? That's my blaster. My warm air blaster. Comes off nice and easy which in turn speeds up the next wash, wash process for the following weeks. So I thought I'd go around the entire car, a little clip here. By this time the applicator was nicely uh, primed with the product and it wasn't quite so wet, which made my life a damn sight easier. Using a damp applicator makes it slide over the panels a lot easier. It just carries the product that much further. You're gonna use less product and it'll just be easier to apply. But just don't do the whole car and expect to buff it off because you will run into problems, i.e. streaking, and it'll be a little bit grabby to get off. So it's a case of the final buff off now. A little bit of a uh, tire trim on there and uh, sorting out the glass. See, secondary cloth. Important that, remember that. So this is what we were left with. Okay, so what do we think about this garage therapy? prototype this ceramic sealant spray well we're going to talk about the application because this isn't really a review this is kind of like my take on the whole process and my feelings about this particular product so it's kind of part part review but more about the process okay so i actually over applied the water to this um, applicator this sponge applicator this is miles too wet and i've wrung it out and wrung it out I actually found that as I went through the process, once I did the bonnet, the bonnet was a little bit streaky because there was far too much water in this. So don't overload the applicator. I spoke to Maz about this. The reason for applying the water in the applicator is so this doesn't get this doesn't disappear basically. It doesn't like get swallowed up in the applicator. Now you can use a different applicator if you want. The reason I'm using this is because Specky used exactly the same thing and I'm trying to keep it all on like a level playing field so you guys can sort of compare the videos. Uh, a bit too much water in that, but once you've liberally sprayed it and loaded up the applicator, reversed it, make sure you've got a liberal coating on that, the water kind of acts as a carrier for the product. So that's a, that's a good thing, but it can be a bad thing if you leave it on the panel too long. I found that on the first few panels I did, great. 
after the bonnet of obviously there's far too much water on there after the bonnet on the side panels it works really well as a carrier but if you leave it too long you'll have a, like a little bit of a streak there and you've got to really buff it to get it out so don't leave it too long and don't over apply the water in the applicator these are my findings from doing this i've not touched this before i don't know anything about it uh, but that's my finding so don't overload the applicator with too much water but make sure you do put some on there to make it damp enough to carry the product try and leave it on the car uh, for several minutes uh, the max i left it was around about five minutes which is probably a little bit too long remember this is a, a form of a coating um, so you've got to leave it, it's not a ceramic coating as such, but it's got elements in there like a ceramic coating. Leave it on the car for a little bit longer than you would, say a detail spray or something like that, or maybe a winter sealant, and then get two cloths. The first one will take up the residue from the water you've left on the panel, it'll only be a, a minute amount, and the second one is just to release it and then give you that sort of nice flashing, glossy feel. The one thing I've found, as you probably saw from the video on the side of the car, was... I did it on the first panel and thought just to, to feel the gloss because no use doing the whole car and then go oh yeah it's really glossy it's great you've got to do sort of comparisons and I felt straight away you could feel there was a nice sort of slip and glossy feel to the the first panel on the other panel that had been decontaminated it's obviously a bit bit grabby so it, it, there's definitely a coat in there of sorts there is a a nice finish and it has got some amazing gloss levels but the one thing I wanted to talk about is the sheeting Yes, sheeting, not that other word. Uh, sheeting off the bonnet. Most people are going to go, eh, didn't bead, didn't bead. Forget about beads. It's all about the sheeting to rid the, the water away from the paint. You've got to keep that. Keep in mind, beads great, good for pictures and all the rest of it, but it's the sheeting aspect we're after to rid anything off the panels. And it seems to work very, very effectively. And it got rid of it very, very quickly. So the summary is that don't overload the, the applicator with uh, too much water. Um, it, you, you will get gloss and you'll get lots of sheeting from this remember this is a prototype this is still the uh, in the development stages I think the guys may be tweaking this further still so I look forward to to more testing if time allows I've got a ton of videos to do seriously while I'm talking there's more deliveries turning up we've got so many videos to do this year it's unbelievable thanks to you guys um, so thanks to uh, Maz and Roger for sending down the prototype Go and check the other guys' videos out. I'll put them down below. Go and check out Martin's and Specky's, and you can see how they used it and see what their results are like. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what the final result is. So uh, thanks to Garage Therapy. Uh, once again, please, please, please subs keep subscribing. Put your comments in. Interact with the channel. Really important that. Put your thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.